Hi everybody, this is Evergreen Hacker. We are at teetco.com and uh, we will go to this exercise which we tried uh, to do on the previous video, but we only did the um, trivial solution and I promised you to do a more optimal one. So the time has come. In this video I will show you some funny things, so stay tuned and wait for them. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to read through the description if you don't remember or you haven't seen the previous video. So we scroll down and here we see the solution for the previous video. Let's just remove all that except for test cases because we will need them. Okay, so now you can see two examples here. The first one is a linked list with the end. Um, it's shown here with none. And the second example is a linked list without end. It has a cycle and four points to two. So I promised you to show something interesting and partly it will be done using this picture. And if you look at it, you will see the linked list which has eight elements and it has a cycle. So I will continue explaining things using this picture. In the previous video, you remember, we were uh, dealing with sets and we used set uh, in order to find where to stop the pointer because when we are doing an iteration over the linked list which doesn't have an end we have to stop it somehow so we use the set in order to remember all the uh, elements we've already seen and whenever we found the current element to be already in the scene set it meant that uh, wow we have a loop. If we don't use an external memory, uh, like set or something else, then we need to find a way how to stop. So you can pause the video and try to imagine um, how can we solve this task without any extra memory. And kind of the hint is already on the picture, but take your time. Okay, so the trick is to use two pointers. The first one will be called slow and the second one will be called fast. Fast will go two times faster than slow one. And let's show how it's done. Yeah, so when those two pointers meet each other, then it means that we have a loop. Because in any other condition, the slow pointer would never uh, reach the fast one, right? So it tells us a lot already. We know that the loop is there. And if we had a task to determine if loop is present, then we would be done. But we have a bit uh, more complicated task. We have to find where the loop begins. So if you look at this picture, then we have to find the element with the value three. And we found that the slow and fast pointers found each other at the element with value seven, which is not exactly three. The another example, bigger one, So they also met each other and magically they happened to find each other exactly at the beginning of the linked list at the head element. Is it a coincidence or it's a rule? Let's find it out. So let's go back to the code, copy paste this great Unicode art and see if we can defer something from it. If you look here, then you can see that this is our head element and this is the element where pointers met each other. So they are both two elements away from the element with the value three, which is the beginning of the loop. And it may be a coincidence as well, or maybe not. Let's try to write some formulas to figure it out. So we will use this fancy Unicode uh, symbol, which means a path. So we will write one path three, meaning that it's a path from one to three. And we will also write seven path three, meaning that it's this path, seven, eight, and three. But now let's use some more things. We will place C here, which will mean the length of this loop. We don't really know what's that. It will be just a constant for us. And now let's try to write some formulas for the path of the slow pointer and the path of the fast pointer. Slow's path would be um, one to three, then it will be three to seven. It's the other way around. Three to seven. 
and plus some amount of cycles. We don't know and we don't need to know how many loops the slow pointer uh, went through the um, cycle until it met the fast pointer. We'll just say it's x times. Okay, so now we have that and let's find the fastest path. It will be also from 1 to 3, this one, then from 3 to 7, this one, and then some other amount of cycles. We also know that this path should be uh, uh, twice as long as this one. So we will just write it out. Twice as long. Fine. So now, let's simplify this formula. What do we have here? Um, instead of that, I will, I will just copy paste it twice. And now, let's remove uh, the guys which are duplicated here, like 1 path 3 and 3 path 7 on the left side, and same guys on the right side. Okay, done, removed. What else do we have here? So we can compact those guys. Now, let's do something to have this 7 path 3 and not 3 path 7. We know that those guys are related somehow. How exactly? Well, it's quite easy. It's C minus that one, because this path is a full cycle without this path, right? Okay, now let's replace it. We just put this thing here. Now we move this C over here, and we will also move this guy over here. It will be... 1 path 3 equals some constant n multiplied by c plus this guy. What it means for us is that if we try to use the same technique as we used with slow and fast pointers where we progress them, but this time we will progress them with the same speed. First we will move head to 2 and then this matched pointer to 8 and then we will progress 2 to 3 and this 8 to 3. And we will do that until they meet each other. And they should meet each other exactly at this position, which is the beginning of the cycle. Why is that? Well, it's because the path from the head to the beginning of the cycle and from the matching pointer to the beginning of the cycle, those paths, they have only constant number of cycle lengths between them. Even if this path is longer, and this can happen if we have many, 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 many elements here and then just a tiny loop here. And then this pointer will just move here around the same circle until it meets the head pointer exactly at this point. Okay, that's because n is an integer C is a constant, we know what C is, C is just the uh, length of this cycle, that's it. Okay, now let's try to code that. So the slow pointer will start with head, fast pointer will start with a slow one, and head doesn't matter, and then while fast is not none, and fast next, is not none because we would need to move fast pointer a bit faster and then with a slow pointer just next if fast equals to slow it means that we found this pointer the matching position now we proceed to the second phase we don't really need this condition anymore because we know there are no nuns here so we just write slow equals non equals to head we are doing the same stuff as before okay and then here they would meet each other so we just return slow and otherwise we have to return none. Because remember, 
we have to return null if there is no cycle, and we still have this case. Because if this while loop finds the value where fast is none or fast next is none, it means that we found a none value, which can happen only in this case, because here there are no nones. And then we have to return none, it means that there are no loops. Okay, so let's debug that stuff. We already have cases here. Let's just use slow, um, fast, and head. So at the beginning, all of them will point to this element one. Then we start checking, no, nothing is none. There are things there. We start progressing slow. Well, first we do it with fast. We say next, next. So fast will become three and then slow will become two. And then they are not equal to each other. Then uh, we are going again here. We are checking if um, three is none. No, it's not. And three next is four is none. No, it's not. So we are progressing it to none this time because it will be three next next. Okay. And two will move to three. We still have head here. And now we are going to the third iteration of this loop. And this check will fail because fast is none. So we will just return none. That's it. That's what we expected. Okay. Now let's copy that and put them initial values and start doing the same thing again. So fast is not none. Uh, fast next is also not none. So we are moving it to three. Slow goes to two. Then three dot next is four. Four dot next is two. It means that fast goes to two and the slow goes to three. Now, two dot next is three, three dot next is four, so fast goes to four. And three dot next is four also. Okay, so we found this point where pointers met each other. Nice. Now we go here. While slow not equals to head, they are different, yes, move them. So slow goes to two, and then head goes to two as well. Oh, magic. So now we have them equal to each other. This condition breaks, and we just return slow, which will be two. That's what we want. OK, let's submit this solution. Yay, accepted. OK, let's look at details. And we have 82 milliseconds. That's nice. Although I think it's almost the same as we had before, but now we didn't use external space. That's good. Thank you for watching. And if you liked Unicode art, which I've done, especially this big one, then you can check out the code uh, in the snippet, which I will place in the description to this video. Okay. Thank you for watching. Have a good interview. Subscribe, like this video. Bye-bye.